some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we find ourselves in Tennessee with a sovereign citizen who uh, looks a lot like Chile de Castro and is just as obnoxious and obscene as he is. Well, anyway, this guy is pulled over for no plates and he turns a uh, simple ticket into a 30-minute traffic stop with all the obnoxious sovereign citizen bumbo-jumbo garbage he can spew out of his filthy pie hole. But I am not going to make you guys sit through the entire 30 minutes. I'm just going to show you some of the best parts of it. But if you really want to be a masochist like me, I'll have leave a link in the description box below. And you can see all the glorious stupidity for yourself. At any rate, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <clears throat> hey, how you doing? All right. I'm Trooper Cobalt, how would patrol you? There's no last plane on the rear of your vehicle. That's, um, this is not being used for commerce. Do what now? The vehicle's not being used for commerce, Okay, sir. it's on the roadway, it has to have a last plane on the rear That's not true. Okay. Yeah. When will you softards learn that Black Law's dictionary is just that, a freaking dictionary? And add to that the Tenth Amendment on all that other jive that goes with it of states being able to make their own laws. In fact, here's Tennessee's statute on plates. Now, if you take the time to read it, you would understand that you are in violation of it, but of course, you're too embroiled in the sovereign citizen stupidity and Kool-Aid drinking to even bother with that. So have fun paying your fines. Do you have your license on you? Um, I do, but I don't see. Why did you stop me? Do what now? Why did you stop me? You don't have a lot so of So I didn't, the... there was no traffic okay, infraction. No, 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 here's okay. the deal, sir. How about you okay. listen for it? Just a second. 1172. Yeah, I'm wondering if your tie's too tight. <clears throat> Do you have pressure in your head right now? Does your, does your face feel warm? <clears throat> you know what? I think those Chile de Castro glasses have melted your brain and morphed you into a chili clone. That's why you're such an obnoxious prick and you believe that uh, you only need plates while driving in commerce, which is a bunch of soft hard nonsense to begin with. <clears throat> Go ahead and shut off the car, sir. It, can I, look, real quick, can I at least put it on level ground? No, because if no, I sir. don't, it's going to be very difficult to get it out of park. Okay. I need your license, registration, insurance, sir. I, I don't have a registration, sir. Okay. I, I can give you insurance information. Please. Now, real quick, I just want to make sure you understand. Uh-huh. Okay? You did not pull me over for an infraction, is that correct? Yes, sir, I did. What, what was the infraction? Improper display. Improper display. That's yes, a traffic infraction. Is that like a moving violation? It's not a moving violation. No, it is not. It's not a moving. <clears throat> oh yes, Chili, it is a traffic infraction, and a traffic infraction is a violation of the law. But in this case, it's no big deal. But uh, knowing how you operate, Chili, you're going to turn everything you touch into a big deal. Oh, wait a minute. I keep confusing you with Chili de Castro. You look remarkably similar. I mean, it's the glasses, isn't it? It has to be those uh, soda pop bottle glasses. But hey, if you're going to act like Chili de Castro, I might as well start calling you Chili de Castro or at least Chili de Castro Jr. But I don't know which is worse, calling you Softard or calling you Chile de Castro Jr. Ah, I'll just use both of them. I mean, they're both great insults. Was there anybody placed in danger by my improper Okay, here's display? the deal, sir. All right, we're going to stop this right here, okay? I need your registration, insurance, and your license, okay? I can give I'm you my... easy to deal with, okay? I don't know. It doesn't, I don't know I mean, it doesn't really sound like me. it because you're stopping me for... What are you actually stopping me for? There's not, there was nothing unsafe happening here. Okay. Oh great, here comes the no victim, no crime argument fallacy right here. Having no plate is probable cause to pull your dumbass over. 
Do you get it now, or should I get more lead paint chips while you think it over? Well, I'm not going in circles. I'm glad you, okay? that you have your camera, body camera there. Yeah, me too. You doing okay today? I'm fine. Good. I'm actually doing great up, up until the point where you pulled me over for no reason. I got you. We're going to get through this, though, okay? Okay, good. Because, look, you have to understand, I am not utilizing the roadway for commerce, sir. Okay. The what, Supreme Court has rules. What did you say your name? Look, turd sniffer, we're going to need citations on these uh, claims you have. And you can't just say the Supreme Court ruled on this without showing the proper citations. Present them, please. We need them. Come on now. If you don't have them, then you got nothing. Your name is I'll it? give it to you. Okay. I'll what's give you name? everything you I ask. I don't need a lecture on the law, okay? Just, uh, what's your name? I just need to understand what you, you to understand. I want to make sure you understand what you're doing right now. Okay. Okay? Yes, I do. For, I do for my I'm legal doing. purposes. I do know what I'm okay? doing. Okay, so right before now. I would give you any information, I want well, you to understand it is under duress. I am not providing you anything. Okay. All I'm right? Very do you, do you. you have a supervisor? I want to speak to your... Are you going to talk over me? Do you, do you have a supervisor? Of course Are I you have a supervisor? supervisor? No, I'm not the supervisor. Okay. This is my traffic stop. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is your name, sir? Um, before I give it to you, I'd like to talk to your supervisor. You're not. You're I'm not trying to save. I'm okay. trying to save you okay. trouble in the long run as well no, here. Okay. Absolutely not. What's your name, sir? I, I want. I want your supervisor. I'm not. I'm not getting my supervisor. Sir. Okay. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Request for a supervisor denied. Because that's just a delaying tactic to stall out this traffic stop for as long as possible. And besides, this whole traffic stop lasts for about 30 minutes anyway. About 25 minutes longer than it should have gone because of your uh, soft, hard ways. So here's the I'm day. requesting a supervisor, and that is your policy. You Citation needed because that's not exactly a universal policy that differs from department to department. I mean, perhaps you should go back to school because this sovereign citizen education sure as hell isn't helping out your IQ any. And neither are those chili to Castro glasses. You know what's funny about this? You don't follow your own damn policies, uh -huh. all right? But you want me to follow other people's policies. Okay. Hey, sir, Cute your ID, please. I want you to get your supervisor. What's your name, sir? <clears throat> I want your supervisor. What? Is I want to speak sir? to your supervisor, sir. Okay. Here's the deal, okay? I'm very easy to deal with. I'm gonna I don't want to deal again, with okay? you. I want to deal with your supervisor. He probably knows more than you. <clears throat> that would make sense, right? He's probably been doing it longer. He knows the job. He knows the ins and outs maybe a little better. That would be why he's the okay. supervisor. I know what I'm doing here. This is my traffic stop, okay? I've been doing this for quite a while, okay? I'm really easy to deal with. I'm being respectful to you, okay? I want you to be respectful to me, okay? You're trying to violate my Fourth Amendment right now. No, sir. You're I'm asking not. for my papers. A lack brain. It is not an unreasonable search and seizure to ask for your license because he's not going to confiscate it. He's just going to look at it and identify who you are. That is one of the points of having a driver's license is to identify the people who are driving. I don't. The reason you stopped me, what you had can no, I let me, just, quick, can I just ask no, you a question? No, we're not arguing. We're not arguing here. You didn't even have a reason to run my tag. So why would you stop me for not you having have have one? Tag displayed on the rear of your vehicle, sir, if it's on the road. That's not true. Okay. If, if, I'm, I if, if I were using my vehicle on the roadway <clears throat> to make a profit, then that is true. Can you just work with me here? No, that's what, why am I supposed to work with you? Because you need, a, you have a quota you want to fill. You need to get me in front of a judge. What? Well, to be perfectly honest with you, asswipe, if he did have a quota to meet, you are making it so much easier for him to meet that quota. Bravo on you, ass muncher. No, get your supervisor. I want to ID you. So I want, yeah, I know you want to crack to you, an ID, right? Actually, the whole reason you want my, you, you pull me over, oh, I don't know who that guy is, I can't run his tag. Oh my God, I'm going to lose. Hey. Don't reach in my vehicle, up, sir! Yeah. Okay. Step back and get your supervisor. Go ahead and sit by the car. Oh.
All right, look, guys. He's opening my car now. Step out of the car. He tried to reach in my Step car. Out of the car. Now he's now he's Step out actually of the car. what? What am I? So this is an arrest? No, it is not. Step out of the car. This, you what are is it? And right I am okay. detained you for are, what crime? You are detained. What crime? Okay. As soon as my lights come on, you are detained. Okay. Go ahead and step out of the car for me. These turd sniffing softards have no self awareness whatsoever. They have no concept that their own actions lead to this kind of thing. If you would have just cooperated with the officer and understood the law, you would not have been in this situation to begin with. This is all on your pathetic little head. I want your supervisor. Okay. My car's in drive. I want you to see that. So don't pull me out. Okay. Don't make this very, bigger. very. You, you, you know, you want to put right hands on me. No, I don't. What not. if, like, well, I don't no, understand I don't that. Like, how do you go to sleep at night? <clears throat> you want to harass me for, for what? Okay. Because I don't have the taxable numbers on the back of my own personal property. Do you have any weapons? You in make the me sick. Do you have any? None of your business. Okay. Get your supervisor. The car's in drive, sir. The car is drive. in drive. Put it in drive. All right, step out of the vehicle. Look, at, he's so sad. I step hurt his feelings. Oh, he, I step don't you hurt. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. You. Turn around. You're Do tight. not hurt me. Now, this is a classic example of projection. Projecting all your faults onto another person to try to make you look good. Unfortunately for you, Crayon Muncher, it's not exactly working out in your favor. That's f oh detained. Look at this is detained. I'm in handcuffs now. Don't you hurt me, sir. I am a nonviolent person. You, I hurt your feelings. So now, look, oh, he doesn't like the police. I wonder why. Look what you do. Turn around for me. Why uh, are you doing this? Does this make you feel like a man? Is this what you? signed up for? 1172, one detained. It's gross. No, what's gross at this point is it actually seems like you're channeling Chili de Castro somehow. I mean, it's as if you're transforming into him. I mean, that's just disturbing. You are gross. Can you just you're gross. Can you work with me here? Nope. Okay. Can't get your supervisor. I'm not getting my supervisor. Oh my God, he still won't follow his policy. Breaking the law, bitch. You're breaking the law. You are violating my constitutional rights right now. You're an idiot. You know that? Yeah. They give anybody a badge. Are you a sheriff? What are you? Highway Patrol? I'm Tennessee Highway Patrol. Tennessee Highway Patrol, guys. I don't have a tag. So what? I had a tag. Do what? He's still reaching in my vehicle. He's now he's gonna look for the vent on the door. Just one. Because he just can't stand not knowing who I am. You're an idiot. Here. You. Stand right here. Fine, I'll stand right here. Right Tell here. me. Turn around. Stand right here. Do, okay. you, do you enjoy taking dominion over innocent people? Is that what you get off hush. on? Hush. Hush. Don't tell me to hush. You wanna violate my first <laughs> amendment too? You already violated my fourth. Do you have any weapons on you? You make me sick. Right. I don't answer questions. All right, turn around. Turn get around. your f***ing supervisor. He still won't get a supervisor. He's going to take me to jail. You can watch. You want to impound my vehicle, don't you? Is that what you're about, bro? <laughs> well, I'm just going to end it right here because, you know, he just continues on like this for a, quite a while longer until finally he's given a choice to show his ID or go to jail. And he shows his ID and then gets a citation and then he leaves. But this was entirely unnecessary on his part. If you actually want to see the video in its entirety, I will leave a link in the description box below just so you can see that. But I'm not going to subject everybody to this uh, idiocy. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.